Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Friday, the 16th day of September 2022, Friday of the 24th week of the year, 24th week of the year, um, but also uh, today it is the memorial of Saints Cornelius and Cyprian. Uh, Cyprian, who was a bishop, Cornelius, who was a priest, early church, uh, both martyrs, uh, perhaps under the persecutions of Decius uh, about the middle of the 200s, um, uh, but again, uh, both icons of faith, both men who are listed in the Roman canon, the, the first Eucharistic prayer. Um, which has ancient origins, although it is not a complete prayer at, at once. It's a composite of many different kinds of prayers. But, uh, but Cornelius and Cyprian are listed among the saints. And so for the city of Rome, uh, at least, uh, they, were, they, they were considered very important and very influential as Christianity developed in the city of Rome. Um, uh, but today on this, uh, on, on this memorial and on this Friday of the 24th week of the year, uh, we begin to conclude uh, the letter to the Corinthians, the first letter to the Corinthians. And um, with, in this letter comes a very important um, uh, a statement by Paul, um, is that everything rides on the resurrection. Um, not, not fully and only and solely upon the crucifixion. Um, again, this is where we seem to have got it wrong in a lot of ways. And again, we get it wrong because resurrection seems to be something that is so distant, so far-fetched, so unbelievable, so intangible, so only for Jesus, um, that we kind of just push it aside. And all we focus on is a man who is dying on a cross. And again, the importance of that as an act of love, not as an act that opens the gates of heaven because they were closed because of a man and woman who ate a piece of fruit they shouldn't have eaten or because God hates us or whatever it is. Um, that, it, that, that can't be the only focus because our faith does not rest upon a Christ crucified. Our faith rests upon a Christ who is risen. Um, and that is so important uh, to remember because as, as Paul says that everything is foolish. Um, if, if we do not believe that there's a resurrection, if we do not believe that Christ has been raised from the dead, uh, then basically there can be no, no, no faith. There can be no movement of this Christian mission and ministry. There can be you know, no purpose to Christ. Um, it, it all rests upon the fact that God intervenes where we as human beings, you know, seek to control and seek to uh, di dictate and seek to, do, seek to do all kinds of things uh, that, that are to our undoing and that make us feel um, not good in the end and that work against us in, in the end. Um, so Paul, stressing the sense of resurrection, the understanding of resurrection, the fact that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Um, and that is where our faith finds its core. That is where our faith finds its kernel. Um, and we need to get back to that. We need to understand that more, more, more so than anything. Uh, the focus upon the cross leads to too much guilt. It leads to too much focus upon suffering alone. And again, a God who seems to be in, in, incapable of helping to relieve any of that. Um, resurrection demonstrates that suffering is never the last word in our lives. Even though we may undergo it many times, suffering is never the last word in our lives. Um, in Luke's gospel today, uh, Jesus is again just walking around, you know, preaching, healing, whatever it is, and people are accompanying him. In Luke's gospel um though he talks about the apostles in one way but then he also lists some women um and again it's joanna and um susanna and then mary magdalene um and again he says you know of mary magdalene that seven demons are cast out of her not the other women but just mary magdalene has these demons cast out of her why how when doesn't ever say just says it was done okay fine that's great it does not mean that she was a prostitute it does not mean that she was a woman of ill repute a woman of the evening whatever it is um she probably had a sickness and again according to Luke who is the physician and very concerned with how sickness interacts with our lives and how God seeks to intervene to cure sickness you know mentions the fact that Jesus cured her whatever was um, hurting her whatever was bothering her whatever was keeping her from life to its fullest and perhaps that again is the reason why Mary follows him and why Mary becomes a part of his life. Nothing, nothing about prostitution, nothing about a woman in red, nothing about, uh, again, this woman of ill repute, of, of, of unsound reputation, whatever it is. Um, she becomes the apostle to the apostles. Um, and because of her great faith, uh, she, does, she, she, she assumes that title and is able to uh, continue and fulfill that mission. Um, may it be said of all of us that we just don't look at rumor and innuendo and things that are probably said about each other, but look to the truth and look to see how our lives give evidence of God's love in this world. And may the Lord give you his peace.